And it was incredible to see your net worth going up by hundreds of thousands of dollars a day, day after day after day. And it will trick your brain and it will start to train your brain and create a confirmation bias that this is going to continue to happen because when it happens multiple days in a row, multiple weeks in a row, why would it possibly stop, right? And you don't know when it's going to stop. Um, and when you're getting that kind of a dopamine hit on a daily basis, your brain doesn't want to let that go. And so learning how to sell your crypto when you're doing really well is the single biggest challenge of this entire space. This is a, an emotional mental game that, uh, in my opinion, you only tend to learn by experiencing it. And so I held through the entire bull market of 2017. I never sold it. Um, you don't realize that the top is in until three months, four months after the top. And at that point, you know, you've, you've now lost 50 plus percent of your returns. And so you don't want to sell because you've got to hope that it's going to go back up. And so I, I held every asset that I ever bought through to this day. Uh, I've, I've never sold any crypto for fiat money and taken that and put it in my bank account. Uh, and so that was a really big educational experience for me, but I've studied crypto every single day since then. I now know what the cycles look like. I know what the cycle top indicators look like. And I know how this game is played. I know that money rotates into, into Bitcoin and then from Bitcoin into you know the, the top 10 altcoins, if you will, like Ethereum. And then from there, they're gonna to go to the mid caps and the money rotates down into the small caps and then the whole thing kind of starts over again. What's interesting to see is uh, if, if Bitcoin is gonna to continue to follow this four year halving cycle that everybody expects to see, I do not think that that is going to be the case. Um, and I can say that because the three previous four year halvings, if you will, that we have already seen, um, they, those cycles have not followed, followed that four year program. Each cycle has lengthened by about 12 to 13 months. And so if the last cycle was a four year cycle from, you know, um, top to top, if you will, this one is going to be probably a five year cycle. And so we would be looking at an actual top in Q4 of 2022. Um, could I be wrong? Absolutely. I have no idea, but every single cycle from the very first one in 2010 to 2013 to 2017, every one of them has gotten long, at least a year longer than the previous one, which would suggest that this would be longer as well. And to also answer your question, you know, I do not trade. I buy an asset and then I hold an asset. And a lot of people are, you know, will try to play that rotation game. I've played around with that in the past and every single time I did it, I lost money. It was a bad move. And so for me, I will invest a small amount of, my personal strategy has been to invest a small amount of money, meaning a couple hundred, a couple thousand dollars into a large amount of projects. So I would say over the last four years, I put 1,000 to $10,000 into 150 different crypto assets. Wow. And that is because you never know which of these are going to, to really take over their niche and become the dominant asset in that category uh, until you know it's already happened. And so the only way to play it is to put a small amount of money over a large amount of bets. And that has allowed me to get three, four, five big winners. You know, I invested Chainlink at 49 cents. It's now $25. I invested in Uniswap at, you know, $2. It's now in the, in the $20 as well. Um, and those, you know, those are off their previous highs. I invested in Matic at 2 cents and now it's $1.50, right? I invested in Cardano at probably five to 10 cents. Now it's $3. And there's others that I've invested in as well that I've lost. 50, 60, 70% on. And in fact, those would be the, probably the majority of, of the, those 150 different projects. But all you have to do is get one or two, three right and get 100, 200, 300 X. And that easily pays for all of the others that didn't do anything. And so that's how I've really approached the industry. Uh, my plan for this cycle is I will absolutely be selling the top. I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did last time. And um, something that I found really useful. It's called the Pi Cycle Top Indicator. It is something you can just type in Google and find for free. And it has called the top uh, every single time with 100% accuracy, including the top in 2021 at $65,000. Thanks so much for being here and watching that video. And can I ask you to please 
subscribe to our channel so you can find out when we're posting new content. You'll be alerted right away when we do. To share this with people you think might benefit from the information, and certainly it helps us if you like the video. So if you like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And again, thank you so much for being here with me right now.